Some rain was beneficial for the Fargo area, greening things back up, but a closer inspection of trees in the area is showing fall not far behind as we take a look at some changes in colors taking place right before our eyes. 74 on the thermometer, 45% your relative humidity, so comfortable temperatures and wind from the south. Southwest is blowing at 11 miles per hour. The clouds in the northern valley a little darker and a better opportunity for rain showers from those dark clouds. 69 degrees right now with a west-southwest wind at 6 miles per hour. There has been rain out in the James River Valley extending northward through the Devil's Lake Basin into northeast North Dakota and northwest Minnesota this afternoon. And that has these areas cooled into the upper 60s, even low 60s for Devil's Lake and Langdon. Low to mid 70s elsewhere as it's fairly quiet out there with increasing cloud cover from the west as this rain making system works its way through. Not expecting severe thunderstorms. You may hear a rumble of thunder, but there has not been much evidence of lightning with this activity. The motion of this will be following the wind. It will be drifting to the north and east as we go through our evening. So as we go through the 7 and 10 o'clock hour, you can expect those showers to head into the north central portion of Minnesota. That's where the best chance of measurable rain will be. We're talking about a few tenths of an inch for you folks after a very waterlogged weekend of weather. And take a look down to the south. There can be a hit or miss sprinkle out there, but by and large, things will be quite quiet. Temperatures in the 60s. Overnight will be our best chance in Fargo, Fergus Falls, Detroit Lakes of seeing a quick passing sprinkle. And we will start out our close of the work week with plenty full sunshine. Down in the south, a lot more clouds and in fact a chance for some morning showers. And watch how these swing through in the mid-morning hours from north to southeast. Now, there will be that chance of scattered showers and sprinkles primarily north of Highway 200 for our Friday midday. Temperatures climbing to around 70, and that will be about it down in the south. Up in the northern counties, we'll see a lot of 60s up there. Wind will be a little more prominent west or northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And on your Friday afternoon, if you have a favorite football team to go cheer for, bring the umbrella. Quick passing showers will be a thing through about sunset, and then they will dissipate and set the stage for a much quieter, albeit cooler, start to the weekend. Take a look at your planning forecast. Morning temperatures, mid-50s, wind increasing, west and northwesterly late, gusting over 20 miles per hour, will peak in the low 70s in Fargo with a hit or miss shower chance as we go through the afternoon. 60s for your afternoon in the Devil's Lake Basin. Likewise, as we take a look up in northwest Minnesota, mid-60s, 71 degrees in Fergus Falls, 69 in Wahpeton. And I got to tell you, gorgeous shot here. Thunderstorm in the distance taken from South Fargo at sunset. But not only do we have the sun, we have the moon making an appearance in this uploaded photo. Ben, thank you for sharing. That's a dandy. And your weekend looks dandy as well. No, we are not talking about mile high temperatures here. 73 on Saturday. In fact, tailgaters will spend much of the morning hours in the 50s and 60s out there. Not a lot of wind, though, so a pretty fair day. It gets even more fair on Sunday as we'll see temperatures approach 80 in Fargo. Next week, a cold front will slide through, and this one will have some punch to it. By Tuesday and Wednesday morning, many of our northern counties will have lows in the 30s. The mosquitoes hate that forecast. I've been hearing complaints from them all day. They've been buzzing around, you know. Yeah, they're everywhere. We need to get rid of them. Uh, <laughs> I'm serious. I concur. Hardcore here. <laughs> yes, exactly. Too many mosquito bites. <laughs>